I've heard it said that people come into our lives for a reason, bringing something we must learn, and we are led to those who help us most grow if we let them, and we help them in return. Well, I don't know if I believe that's true, but I know I'm who I am today because I knew you. Like a comet pulled from orbit as it passes a sun. If they feel a connection and if they enjoy what we do and if they enjoy the priests and the people, Everything can help and everything can improve our church, like fixing structures or just funding individual groups. I don't think people realize how important the church is in their lives when they're going through the tough times, when they're going through a job loss, a divorce, a uh, loss of a loved one. You know, where can they go? And this is the place deep down in their hearts they know they have to be. As, as much as the church depends on the efforts of its volunteers, it also depends you know, purely on, on finances because things cost money. Paper costs money, books cost money, uh, the lights cost money, the air conditioning costs money, everything costs money. And with all the goodwill in the world from all the volunteers, uh, which is crucial, money is also necessary. It's me of what I learned from you, you'll be with me like a hand on my heart and now whatever way our stories end I know the nursing homes are kind of like our our regular parishioners we go to visit them twice a week um, and do services there we have masses once a week for them and they become like our Body family Christ, and bringing a Eucharist to the, the people who are homebound in nursing homes and hospitals uh, people who cannot get out to, to mass uh, it just brings us onto a different level of our faith. Altar serving shows us that we can put our service to God in another way, like helping on the altar. And it also teaches us moral values of how to act and to always remember that God's there. When you sing, it's like, as they say, it's praying twice. And it makes you feel a lot better. It's this great stress reliever. You have a great family, like, I, all the people are so nice. And none of it seems to matter anymore. Yeah, especially if they go to church and they get some spiritual benefits from the church, some comfort from the church, I think you should give back something. At a very minimum, at a very minimum, shouldn't you give as much to the church as you would for a lousy movie? I mean, too often, and, and God appreciates everything, but too often I see people just putting in one dollar. Is God worth one-twelfth of what a lousy movie is? In context of our daily lives, you know, maybe we can take the money that we might have used to buy an extra cup of coffee and donate that to the church. And after a week, for me at least, that comes out to a considerable amount. Because I knew you. Through God, you can make a difference. You can make a difference. Through God, 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 you can make a difference. Someday, we'll all be in heaven. And I'll have the microphone like this. <laughs> and, we're gonna, and I'll say, please be quiet. I think they're saying mass at Our Lady Queen of Martyrs. <laughs> and we hear the priest pray for all those who ministered, and you are those who ministered. So I thank you very much. And I ask that you take a moment to pray.